I mean, we're just, we're just excited I'm playing the game of basketball here with Keith. We're a great group of guys. You know, great for a great organization. Man. No matter if I have a good game or a bad game, I'm still thankful. Tonight, the whole team raised its level in the fourth quarter, particularly defensively. And you and you're, you're playing, the team was playing very well. And Magic was playing well for most of the game. Yeah, they're, they're a tough team to guard, man. We had to figure them out. It took us a while. Because, uh, you know, Dwight is such a low, low into the basket and he got so many shooters around him. Uh, but I think he did a good job of just playing hard, man. That makes up for a lot of mistakes, just playing hard. And uh, we got a good comeback win. It means a lot, man. Just, he, he takes so much pressure off of everybody. You know, he, can, he can loosen up the defense with his drives. He can shoot the basketball. He can pass really well. Rebound. He does so much for us, and uh, he's just—it's just great having him on our team, man. Just because he—he does—he does stuff that you uh, really can't teach, man. He's so athletic and got great instincts and hands. Just phenomenal. He makes me a lot better. Yeah, he gives me easy baskets. Uh, he believes in me. He trusts me. No matter if I miss if I miss eight or nine shots in a row, he's still gonna come to me. So he, he's been a great leader this year for us. How big, group? Was, how big was Perk tonight, just his intensity in the fourth quarter? Yeah, I mean, the, Dwight Howard had it going in the third when, uh, when Perk was out. Um, you know, he's making some tough shots. Nick did a great job of forcing him out, making him shoot tough shots. But when Perk got in there, um, he kind of forced him to shoot the same shots, and I guess, um, you know, he, he kind of got uh, worn out for them two guys. So, Dwight Howard was an unbelievable player, and, but Perk played his best on him and, and, made, uh, and contested his shots and blocked a few. And uh, just play hard. Yeah, that's what we need for. It hurt for you in the fourth quarter offensively. Man, I was so down on myself. Uh, I was, I was, uh, I was going down the hill fast, man. After the, you know, in the first quarter, when my coaches and my teammates continued to keep talking to me and encouraging me, and, and, and told me that they believed in me, and just clicked for me. I started making a few shots. I got some free throws, and you know, once your teammates, you know, give you that confidence, no matter what, you feel good. And, I was able to knock down some shots. Playing off of James and Russ, they, they give me easy shots sometimes. And, uh, thank God I hit them. Has this team got a fifth gear that it can go to now? I mean, this seems like the group just lifted to a higher level. In the group. Against a team, as I said, we're playing very well. You get this, the whole team is to lift up. We're, we're getting better, man. We're getting better, man. Playing against a great team like this at, at their place. Being down 11, going to the floor, we could have easily just gave in. But we kept playing hard, kept fighting. And, and guys made plays. James, you know, James Royale made a big, big shot for us. James uh, came in and made some big shots. And then Russ, you know, after he twisted his ankle, he still came out and played hard for us. And uh, Perk, you know, the defense was great, man. So it was, it was a big time. Did you feel like you had them sort of stepping up as far as I mean, I always feel like I got to be aggressive in the fourth. I guess that's my time, no matter uh, how I'm playing. I just got to try to be aggressive. Right? If I make a shot, I make it. If I miss, I miss. And, uh, like I said, I played off James and Russ. They got me some easy baskets, and I was able to. Uh, I got to run a few times and got some fouls called. And I was able to get going a little bit. Well, BK, you know that's my guy. Since I got to the league, and he's always he's always on top of me no matter what. I'm playing good or playing uh, bad, but it wasn't going to take the game over. It was play harder on the defensive end. Um, I just got so much love for these coaches, man. They always picking me up and encouraging me. And, and um, if I'm playing bad, they tell me. And if I'm playing well, they tell me I'm playing bad. So, you know, I got a good balance. <laughs> man, finally, that was a prayer, man. I threw that one up. Um, God was on my side on that one, man. Made, 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 a, made a decent shot. You mentioned Royale earlier. How big was that sequence when they went zone and you guys seemed to just know what to do right in that moment. Yeah, uh, coach always prepares us for zone no matter who we play. Yeah. We had a lot of shooters and um, we came out and uh, moved the basketball. We could have easily set up for a deep three, but we got that. We moved the ball and got uh, you know extra pass. And James found Royale in the corner. I knew what was going in after they left his hand. He shot it with a lot of confidence. And we believe in Royale. He, he plays. You don't worry about him on the defensive end because you know he's going to play hard on the offensive end. We just tell him to go out there and shoot with confidence, and that's what he's been doing lately. Up until like last 30 seconds, you'd only play 15 points. In 14 minutes in the fourth quarter. Did you think that your communication was better in the fourth? Yeah, I think it was. You know, we, those guys shoot a lot of three pointers. Uh, Dwight is tough going to the basket. I think we, we scrambled out and, and made those guys put the ball on the floor. And I managed to shoot tough shots. So it was, it was a good victory by us. Hey, Kevin, I've heard you say a lot of times how much you love playing in Oklahoma City. When you hear guys talk about saying they need to go to a big market, a big city, what do you, what do you think about that? I mean, different guys. Uh, they, 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 you know, they think different things. 
myself has always been about basketball first. And Oklahoma City is the best place to play basketball. The market and stuff, I mean, of course that's that's cool for off the court, but you know, I'm more of a basketball player and you know, I can't can't lead these guys, man. I enjoy being here, I enjoy my coaches, I enjoy the community. Um, the whole organization is uh, first class. So like I said, it's always been basketball first for me. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you.